is Tate Heron, and today I'll be teaching you about how to be a successful procrastinator, coming from me, a successful procrastinator. <laughs> so first, what you want to do, you want to, you're going to want to plan your procrastination ahead of time. It can make a big difference between being pretty stressed about something that's due the night of that you haven't done yet, and you know it can make you just feel more comfortable doing it. Uh, there's two types of procrastination. There's lazy procrastination, and then there's planned procrastination. <laughs> lazy procrastination, that's when maybe you know something's due, but you put no thought into it. You're like, I'll just do it later. Maybe it'll be like, it's due at like 11.59. And you're like, oh, this is just gonna be some easy assignment. And uh, you're like, I'll start just working on it 11. But that can go wrong. Because maybe if you don't think about it enough, the assignment could be a lot harder than you think, and then you don't do it on time. But then there's planned procrastination. That's where you think about it. You're planning it out, you know you're not doing it, but you're still thinking about it throughout the day. Like this presentation, for example. I thought about this <laughs> last night. <laughs> but I didn't want to do it last night. So I did. I thought, I was like, you know, it's a PowerPoint. I can think of things to say on the spot. I'll do it before class. And that's what I did. <laughs> and so far, it's been okay. <laughs> now, you're gonna wanna know your limits when it comes to procrastination. Um, like I said before, if, you, if you're planning it right, you're gonna wanna know what assignment you're doing. You're not gonna wanna give yourself an hour to write a 2,000 word essay. And you're not going to want to start working on something due at midnight at noon that would maybe take 10 minutes. A good rule of thumb, if you're going really last minute, I don't even do this. This is risky, so this is for you guys to do. If you're going really last minute, start like maybe two hours before you think you would finish, still procrastinating, still doing it late, you'll still do it on time. But you're still doing it as late as you can. So you're going to want to avoid risky actions that could maybe take longer than you would expect. I got some examples, taking a quick nap. This happened to me two days ago. I had to write something for one of my classes. I went to sleep at 7. I was like, I'm going to wake up at 7.30 because I'm going to do this work. And I woke up at 11. Not enough time at all. <laughs> that was my mistake. Watching one more episode of whatever you're watching. If that's why you're procrastinating, because you want to watch a show, don't watch another episode. Do the work. Hanging out with friends, maybe you're like just hanging, you're thinking you're going to hang for an hour, and then you don't. Just hang a little longer. Sometimes it happens. Going to a darty and farting a little too hard. <laughs> this happens to some of us, I'm sure. Um, doing any of these close to a deadline, I would consider it lazy procrastination. And it can cause some extra stress if you just don't give yourself enough time to do work if you're still trying to do work. How to do your procrastinated work. <coughs> Be aware that you purposely did this. If you're planning this, you're purposely putting off your work, so you should probably be aware you're going to want to put in more effort to make up for what you didn't do before. This is what I do. I do my best work 30 minutes before the school. Because for some reason I get four times the effort I would have got hours before. Uh, once you start an assignment, do the assignment. Don't start it and then start doing something else. I do this sometimes. I'll start an assignment, I'll go on my phone. You don't want to do that. Uh, it could be a risk. Um, you know, If you finish any extra work, or if you, if you finish any work with extra time, it's probably smart to revise. Because if you're pounding out a lot of work in a short amount of time, you're probably making some sort of mistake. Or you can't. Sometimes you don't. But it's smart to revise just in case.